Hi there, real estate fans. Echo here. Today, we are tackling the big question. Why haven't home prices crashed in South Africa? For the last few years, we've been hearing about an impending crash, but it just hasn't happened. Why? Let's break it down. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. First, let's talk about home prices. According to Lightstone, property prices in South Africa have shown a steady increase of around 4% per annum over the past five years. In 2023, the average house price in South Africa was around 1.3 million rand. So, why haven't these prices dropped? One big reason is the balance of supply and demand. Despite the economic challenges, the demand for housing remains strong. Urbanization continues to drive people towards cities like Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban, keeping the demand for homes high. On the flip side, the supply of new homes isn't keeping up with this demand. The construction industry is facing hurdles like rising material costs and pandemic-related delays. As a result, new home inventory remains low, which naturally supports higher prices. In fact, data shows that new home inventory rate has been hovering around three to two months supply. This means that if no new homes were bought, the existing inventory would be sold out in just a few months. For a balanced market, a six-month supply is considered healthy. Another key factor is the absorption rate, which measures how quickly homes are sold after being listed. To give you an idea, in some regions, the absorption rate has been as high as 60 to 70 percent, which means that a significant majority of listed homes are sold within a month or two. Now, let's talk about interest rates. Despite the South African Reserve Bank raising interest rates to combat inflation, which peaked at around 7.8% in 2022, mortgage interest rates have remained relatively stable. This stability has helped maintain buyer interest as higher interest rates have not significantly deterred potential homeowners. Speaking of inflation, while it's been a challenge, property has often been seen as a hedge against inflation. With rising cost of goods and services, many South Africans view real estate as a safer investment compared to other volatile assets. This mindset keeps the demand for housing strong. So, what does this all mean? Despite the economic pressures, the South African real estate market remains resilient. Limited supply, consistent demand, stable interest rates, and the perception of property as a good investment during inflationary periods are all contributing to stable, if not rising, home prices. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Are you in the market for a new home? Have you noticed any trends in your area? Drop your thoughts in the comment below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be curious about the property market. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more insights into the South African real estate market. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.